Hello, friends. Welcome back. Again, if you haven't gone through the introduction phase where we deploy an app, this uh, tutorial won't help a lot. But what we want to do now is add a license to your package JSON. The license field is where you inform users of what they are allowed to do with your project. Some common licenses for open source projects include MIT and BSD. License information is not required and copyright laws in most countries will give you ownership of what you create by default. However, it's always a good practice to explicitly state that users can and can't do. Here's an example of a license field. Uh, license MIT. Fill license field in the package JSON file of your project as you find suitable. Okay, so again, we have an app that is deployed to Heroku. Um, and so what we want to do is we're going to go to our package.json file that we have here, and we're going to add the license. And so I think we should just add the license MIT one in there. Um, we'll do it up here right after the name. And uh, so yeah, the important thing is to remember it's double quote and make sure you put a comma here because this is an object and within the object there's key value pairs, repository and then this object is a key value pair and they're separated by commas but you don't want a comma on the end. And so once we get that up, we can just go back, we want to make sure we save our work on the package.json and then we're going to say get status. So it shows us that the package JSON files needs to be added. So we're git add. So now it's committed. And then we say commit, commit. And then we say add license to package.json. And then we say git push uh, Heroku head master, which we've been doing in the last few episodes. Um, if you're curious about why or how this all works, I encourage you to check out the past um, tutorials because that, those are the ones, especially the first one where we actually built this. And so now we're just sort of adding slowly to the package.json file, but we have a functioning web app that's, uh, that's doing this. So now once we've finished um, pushing um, our code to Heroku, we can get the live application um, and we can come over here and publish that. Looks like we've completed another one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.